Yo, what's good y'all, it's your boy AJ, welcome back to another scary video. Now, I know I missed out on Saturday Night Fright, I know I'm sorry, I'm sorry, but look, a lot of things happened, I had to take care of it, man, but we're back to our regularly scheduled programming, and it's only up from here, you know what I'm saying? So, I'm not here to waste any more time, so without further ado, man, let's get it! Yo, oh, this is recent too. Hello everyone, my name is Sir Spooks, and today we'll take a look at 17 scary videos. 17 Make scary sure videos. Make sure to subscribe to my channel for more scary content. His channel, my right, channel, with that said, road to 5,000 subscribers. Begin. Let's get it! And of course, Happy Halloween. Yeah, Happy Halloween. This first post comes to us from the popular ghost subreddit and is guaranteed to make you lose a few hours of sleep tonight. That will be on see, let's the see. The uploader New Race in 5425 says that Phoenix? he works in an old building in downtown Phoenix, Arizona. Uh-oh, here we he go. He says that one night he was working and all of a sudden at the corner of his eye, he saw something he thought was extremely bizarre. However, at the time, he simply brushed it off thinking it must have just been his eyes playing tricks on him or something. Nevertheless, he decided he wanted to record the hallway regardless, just in case. And as it turns out, it was most certainly a good idea to start filming. Take a look and see what happens. Let's see. Guess I can't go to Arizona anymore. Yo, what's that moving in the picture? It's got to be somebody's shadow or something like, whoa. Did you see it? If you look at the image frame whoa. of this part of the video, you can see that it moves, after yeah. which a black, ghostly shadow emerges. <sighs> the video ends with the uploader asking out loud, did you see it? Yeah, we Before saw it. It sounds like another voice quickly responding by saying no. Some people in the comments say that it simply looks like it could have been somebody vacuuming or cleaning. But others are not so convinced, oh, that could be true. thinking there definitely was some sort of ghostly entity in there. But what do you guys think? Be sure to let me know all your theories in the comment section down below. Whether this is real or fake, that's still scary no matter what. This next post comes to us from my very own Sir Spook subreddit, and okay. was submitted by a user known as FitCode8290. The video in question was filmed on a security camera inside a pub located near the uploader called The Anchor. He says it was a popular pub in Brown Hills, UK before it eventually shut down. As for why the place closed, he didn't specify. Regardless, the security Whoa. camera footage showcases some customers simply sitting down in the pub enjoying a drink when out of nowhere, something random and creepy happens. Watch this. Hey, that's expensive too, man. Drinks aren't cheap, y'all. They are expensive. Especially the sudden, bottles. Oh, it almost no. seems like a poltergeist forcefully pushes a drink off of the table. Much to the shock and awe of everyone inside, just trying to have a nice relaxing night. Sadly, not a whole lot is known about this video other than what I've already told you. But it's clear that there was definitely something going on here. Exactly. Who knows? Let's hope they weren't continuously tormented by more spirits since this incident. Yeah, suck, I would've quit. No two week notice or nothing. I'm just walking out. Over on TikTok, a woman known as Sinestia posted a video to her account in which she's explaining that she's been experiencing something incredibly bizarre going on inside her house. The video then switches to security camera footage that was filmed inside of Sinestia's house. At first, the footage seems to be innocent and boring, but things start to get quite weird in no time. Sinestia's dog comes racing into frame, barking at something that we cannot see. It's clear oh, from the way her dog is behaving that there's something inside of the room that's bothering it. But what exactly is it? Take a good look here and you'll see.
Oh, that's a thick shadow. But yeah, usually when dogs are excited and then you can't see what, what they're excited about, that's something that we can't see, but they can see. Basically, this is real. Definitely real. After that. A strange black shadow can be seen in the corner of the room. The dog continues to bark angrily for several seconds before it eventually gets too scared and runs away. What's eerie is that as soon as the dog runs out of the room, a chair can be seen moving immediately. Yeah, that shadow move too. It's almost like whatever strange spirit was in this house was waiting for the dog to leave to move the chair. Sadly, to this day, this mystery has never been solved. But if I were in Sinestia's shoes, I would be looking into moving out as soon as possible. I have the same this idea. This video just shows that dogs are almost always able to sense danger, even if we have a hard time sensing it ourselves. That is so true. So if your dog's acting strange like that, hey, it's a sign, man, it's a sign. A post over on the ghost subreddit submitted by user Thrash6 has been blowing up in the community for the past few weeks, and it's not hard to see why once you watch the footage. The video in question seems to have been filmed on some sort of surveillance camera and was filmed inside of a business that conducts paranormal investigations. In the clip, we see a group of guys huddle around in a circle, trying to talk to a spirit that may be in the room with them. As I'm sure you can expect, it doesn't take long at all for these guys to make contact. Whoa. Out of nowhere, a metal rod can be seen lifting upward right behind Bro, whoever this is right here, man, you gotta get that freak up out of there, man. Bro, that entity almost knocked you in the back of the head with that metal rod. And it was long too. Like, bro, you gotta get up out of there, man. Like, if something happened, if I was in this situation and then something happened behind me, dude, I'm out of there, bro. Like, I'm not staying there. And one of the guys. Or a guy. The uploader says that everyone in the room then proceeds to run upstairs to review the footage, and sure enough, the bomb was definitely raised all by itself. As for how exactly, Almost got whacked. nobody knows for sure. It's quite a mysterious and freaky video. Was this entity upset that these guys were trying to communicate with it? If so, hopefully they learn their lesson and don't disturb this spirit again before it's too late. I just want to know what, what the freak this dude did to the entity, man. Like, why is it so angry at you? It wanted to smack you in the back of the head with that rod, man. What, what made you that, bro? What did you do to make it that mad? I, that's what I want to know. This is obviously real. We will never know. A woman named Renee Salcido posted a video to her TikTok account on September 26th, 2022, in which we watch home security camera footage that was filmed around 9 p.m. in the living room area. Renee writes that they thought they heard bell noises coming from their front door, signifying that there was somebody at the front door. Confused as to who could possibly be showing up at their house so late at night, Renee goes to investigate. This is what happened next. Yo, these shadows, man, it's throwing me off. Please, before this video continues, I want to say something. Let me, let me actually go back a little bit. All right, so somebody ring the, the bell on the door, right? So they thought somebody rung it, right? You have three windows to looking out. Actually, five. You, you got one, six. You have one, two, three, four, five, five, six, and one right here. You have six different windows. Look outside before you open the door. Do not open the door, then look outside. Bro, if you open the door before you look outside, bro, I'm a question reality, man. He's like, bro, ain't no way. Like, dude. Bro, you see no bro, I gotta see this, bro. Just look out the window. If you see nobody there, don't open the door. It 
takes force to make Upon it sound like that. checking the front door, she found absolutely nobody there. Baffled, Renee then proceeded to check the camera's footage that it recorded. Are they when good the then? Sounded, and still, nobody was there, but the bell sounds can be heard. Did they what I told them to do? Renee says that it takes a good amount of force for the bells to make it sound that loud, which is why she's even more confused and concerned as to how something like this happened. Do you guys have any theories as to what happened here? Let's hope we can all help Renee out so she can go back to living in this house in peace. I think that's real. That can't be the wind. The wind can't be that strong to do that. A YouTube channel known as Lost Places and Legends posted a video to their account on August 26, 2024, in which they ventured out into the Alabama woods in the middle of the night to do some exploring. The channel owner is particularly exploring the heart of Bigfoot Bend, a remote area located in North Alabama that is notorious for its Bigfoot sightings and otherwise eerie occurrences. For a good long while in the video, the uploader seemingly doesn't get any luck in finding any signs of Bigfoot or any other entities, but that all changes when he starts to hear some genuinely terrifying noises. Watch and listen. What was that? What was that? That's not Bigfoot. That sounded like a growl. That was a growl. That's just some random animal. What animal? I have no idea. Close. Yeah, that was it. Yeah, I don't even believe in Bigfoot, man. Is a that's a moose. Oh, that's what it is. It's a moose. Not Bigfoot. Bigfoot, just a guy in a suit. As you just heard, the uploader's otherwise peaceful investigation eventually gets interrupted by some seriously mean and vicious sounding growls that seem to be coming from deep into the forest. Sadly, nothing else of huge interest happens afterward, but the video definitely makes you wonder. Did these guys actually come close to encountering Bigfoot that night? No. We will likely never know for sure. Until I see clear a clear video of Bigfoot, I don't I'm not gonna believe in Bigfoot. It's all choppy and now quality's I'm all trash. Look at yet another video that was submitted to my very own Sir Spook subreddit, with this video being posted by a user known as Schnookums92. The uploader writes that the place he's wandering around in in Newport, Kentucky, used to be a thriftway grocery store up until 2002 or so, and sat vacant for about 10 years. Then, it eventually became a hardware store, before eventually shutting down and becoming vacant once again. The uploader says that as many times as he's walked past the place, he has seen this happen. Watch this. Tell me, why? This back room here. This used to be the this way back in the 90s. But check this shit out. I've walked past here multiple times. Why is the why is the lights inside here flickering? Especially this one. It's weird as Man, they have a fun in there. Yeah, I don't want to back, interrupt them though. The light back there is flickering in there. Flickering in different intervals. As you just saw. A whole bunch of lights can be seen flickering inside of this creepy abandoned building for seemingly no reason at all. Is it possible that there's some kind of a ghost inside that likes to switch the lights on and off? This, I don't think it's real though. why? Perhaps there isn't a logical reason. We likely won't ever get any answers for this video and it'll probably remain a mystery. That, I don't think that's real. That's probably his co-workers or something like that. There's a reason why he's not in the building to see what's causing that. You know what I'm Imagine saying? Imagine you're just out for a walk in the city in the middle of the night when you spot something up on a bridge that freaks you out so much that you just have to pull out your phone and start videotaping it, just in case. That's apparently the exact situation TikTok user Soy Natanael33 found himself in late one night. Just out for a walk. The uploader decides to pull out his phone and record something that he saw on this bridge. Take a look. Mm. 
Yo, what the heck is that? Bro. That better be some guy in the costume, cuz, bro. By all accounts, the entity on the bridge looks eerily similar to that of the Mothman. Moth? Oh, I, I forgot By about Mothman. the creepy figure seen in this TikToker's video to drawings of the Mothman, it's super eerie just how similar they look. I don't see the wings though. Unfortunately, there isn't any huge backstory behind this video, so we don't really know a whole lot about it on what was going it's on. It's gotta be a guy in a the suit then. But it's still a hugely interesting video that will surely make cryptid experts scratch their heads and wonder if this is indeed real. Nah, it's a guy in a suit, man. Hey, Halloween was just, uh, just came, so it's the guy in a suit. This little known video on YouTube that was posted back in April of 2020 by a man named Rob Wakefield My birth month? is one of the most eerie videos that you'll watch all day and will possibly make you afraid to go near a lake for a while. In the video, we watch Rob filming his dog outside near a misty lake in the middle of a bright spring day. At first, the video actually kind of seems calming and peaceful. Who wouldn't want to relax near a lake with their beloved pet? I don't know However, about that. In Florida, you, can you can't expect, do that. The video takes a seriously strange turn within a matter of seconds. Take a look at the dog and the lake and see if you notice anything unusual. Oh, I didn't see that. Is that a headless apparition? Did you see it? A strange <laughs> ghost-like figure can be seen hovering above the water That's gotta be for real. a few seconds, perhaps scaring the dog away before the video then abruptly ends. It has no head. us all to wonder what we just saw. It's strange how this video only has a little over 200 views because it's a legitimately creepy video that seems to prove that even going on a relaxing lake trip with your dog can spell danger. Facts. Yeah, that's real though. What do y'all think? Oh, here we go with UFOs, man. Let's, let's this go. This next clip comes to us from the popular UFO subreddit and was posted by a user known as Norfal93, who says that he found the footage in question somewhere on Facebook. The video, called Cube Inside a Transparent Sphere, was filmed over Tana, a village in Neath, Wales, in the UK and was filmed on November 28th, 2023. Take a look at the incredible footage. The heck? I don't know. By stabilizing the video, we can get an even clearer look at the shape in the sky, which is Actually, nothing you know short what? of fast. You know what I think it is, man? I don't even think that's the sky for real. I think that's like they zooming in on like a small object, like a not a, not necessarily a diamond, but something small, and they just zoom in really good, or they zoomed in really far, and then they pretending like this is the sky. You can't fool me. Fascinating to say the least. A lot of people in the comments of this video are comparing the footage to a similar incident from a pilot named Ryan Graves, a now famous UFO witness himself, who recounted an incident he was told by a fellow pilot with a flying object near the coast of West Virginia in 2014. Nah, no, is fake, he man. He said that while he was Look, flying, there's, fighter jet there's no, there's nothing else. It's just, bro, they zoomed in on something small. That's why the quality is so bad. Aircraft that looked like a dark gray or black cube that's a nail. Sphere. Bro, that's a nail. So what do you guys think? <laughs> is it bro. possible that the two encounters are totally different? Or do you guys think that bro. they might be connected? That's a nail that you used to like. Bro. That's a nail. Let me know in the comments. Bro, you can't fool me, man. I'm getting too good at these, man. Imagine you're upstairs in your room sleeping like usual when all of a sudden you hear an extremely strange and sudden knocking noise. But it's not coming from your bedroom door, but rather your garage. 
That's the exact situation that this Reddit user named Lone Butterfly found himself in. He posted a video to the Paranormal Encounter subreddit, which showcases security camera footage that was filmed inside of his garage at 3 in the morning. The clip is only 5 seconds long and wastes no time at all getting right to the point. Interesting. As you just heard, it definitely sounds like there was something knocking on the uploader's car. But what I think was this is it? Real. A ghost? Something else entirely? The uploader says that the incident happened about a year ago. At first, he says he thought the strange ghostly shape you can see in the video was just some fog or smoke. But he quickly dismissed the theory after not smelling anything unusual in the garage. He also states that the weather was not cold enough for anything like this to happen. So what could possibly have happened here? That's gotta be Let's real. Let's just hope that this uploader won't have to worry about his sleep getting interrupted by this knocking ghost again. See, it's a little translucent, so it's real. That's a, whoa. It's no secret that a lot of people in the world are absolutely terrified of clowns. I'm not terrified of clowns. It just look but weird. what happens when you combine those two together and you get a clown doll? Clown doll. Unsurprisingly, the results are terrifying. This video was posted to TikTok by a woman named Brianna, who says that she recently moved next door to a cemetery which, perhaps as you can expect, was a big mistake. The footage shows Brianna and a friend of hers watching The Exorcist. It's an undoubtedly scary movie, but what happened to them in real life still never was watched arguably that. even scarier. Watch this. You killed your mother. You killed your mother. You killed. Whoa. Not gonna say anything, bro. Out of nowhere. The clown I ain't gonna lie, to... bro. If this is your boyfriend holding the camera, man, break up with him immediately, man. That dude sat there and watched, bro. He didn't even say nothing. He still didn't say nothing the second time it happened. He was like, oh, that's all he said. Like, bro, if this is your boyfriend, break up with him ASAP. Because, bro. We've seen hanging on that wall moves all on its own, which frightens Brianna to the point where she screams out loud before the video abruptly ends. Was there some sort of a spirit possessing this creepy doll? If yes. so, what did it want? Are its intentions sinister? Just to be on the safe side, if I were Brianna, I would get rid of that doll immediately. Exactly. Every single doll in existence is in, in existence is haunted, and I stand by that. Over on TikTok, a man named Trent Williams posted a video in which he says that he doesn't usually believe in any sort of paranormal stuff. But one particular incident is making him question himself. He says that he was at Skinny Atlas Lake in upstate New York, staying at an Airbnb. Trent says that at the Airbnb, the owner said they've gotten lots of people saying that they hear piano playing at night. Upon hearing this, Trent thought the owner was simply making it up, but says that now he has indeed heard it. He also said that the daughter of the guy who owns the place passed away as a result of a car accident, and her mm. ashes are, you guessed it, on the piano. Oh. Trent also says that he gets chills Look, when he simply- I love the piano, but if I find that out, man, I'm not getting that piano, man. I'm sorry, man. Even though I want it, I'm not getting it. Why would I want that? It's automatically haunted. Walks into the room, and I don't blame him. In a second video posted by Trent to his TikTok, we actually get to see this piano in action. As Trent makes his way to the piano to start filming it, this happens. Is the chair floating? Whoa, hold on. No, to start filming. Bro, the chair is floating. Dude, we, we ain't gonna talk about that. The chair floating. Look at the shadow. You see that gap? Bro, the chair is floating, man. Dude, I'm finding these discoveries that nobody else is finding. Dang it. I got it a sharp happens. eye. It's Bro, that chair is floating, man. God, it is. No, dude, you got me up. If I die, I swear. I will. Oh, God. <laughs> 
Oh, shit. Ooh. <laughs> that sounded out of, out of key. One of the keys is pressed down, which immediately startles both Trent and oh, they press Trent C. who yell out in surprise. They press C. The Could scene this be the ghost of the girl who passed away from the car accident? Yes, most if definitely. So, is this her way of trying to learn piano from the afterlife? We may never know. Man. Didn't even play a low C, just play a regular C. Over on Reddit, a user known as Truth is Fiction YT posted a video to the Bigfoot subreddit, which showcases Bigfoot. footage filmed by a man named Steve Piper who filmed the video way back in 2000 in the Brindabella mountain range of Australia. The video supposedly depicts See, Yali, look, look, the Australian on. equivalent of Bigfoot. The look, greenish. you see this quality and you expect Bigfoot to be real? Everybody who says it's real, the quality is just like this. He's not real. Like, bro, I don't care if it was 1984. Dude, it's not real. It's a guy in the suit. I can't, you can't change my mind after this quality, man. Like, no cap. Like, bro. Shaky handheld camera video feels like something ripped straight out of an old school horror film. But as we know, it isn't a horror film. It's very much real life. Watch this. Like, bro, <laughs> look at this. That's just another guy in the suit. Although the entity may be quite difficult to see, if you squint your eyes just enough and pay close attention to the trees, you can see some sort of strange creature walking around, making its way through the dense forest. Interestingly, the figure also seems to have a limp. Is it possible that the creature was hurt by something, or did it always have this limp? Got its ankles, bro. Also, by looking up pictures of Yaoi and witnesses' depictions of them, and comparing them to the entity shown in the video, they do look remarkably similar. What's also worth noting is that Piper allegedly thought the entity was a giant kangaroo moving around before he started recording. Of course, though, that's just one theory of many that people will inevitably have. So I'm curious, what why are would you do the video like that? Be sure to let me know in the comments. Bro. <laughs> I still don't believe in Bigfoot. Over on YouTube, a man named Carlos Vallejos posted a video to his channel back in August of 2020, which shows him recording security camera footage from his computer that was filmed on the streets of the town of San Ramon, which is 130 kilometers away from the city of Santa Cruz in Bolivia. The video in question was filmed in the middle of the night and showcases an eerily dark and deserted street. Even if something else didn't happen, this street would be creepy enough to make this list. But don't worry, something does indeed happen. Watch this. 240, here I am. Hay clarito, se ve una formita. What the heck is that? Está caminando. Aparece de ella bajito. Esto está grabado por mis cámaras. Is it sliding? Que dan hacia la calle. Fíjense cómo camina. Y yo estoy ahí, ¿no? Yo estoy ahí viendo. Lo estoy hablando por teléfono. Lo estoy viendo. Y estoy quedando queriendo. That's very interesting. I don't know if that's a real person or like a entity or something like that. Es como si fuese un niño. Look how it's moving though. That looks crazy. So creepy. Y se mete a la casa. As you can see, some sort of a strange entity can be seen lurking around on the streets for an extended period of time, mm. mostly throughout the entire duration of the footage. The figure in question seems to be extremely short in nature and as a result of this, many people online have started to theorize that this may be an El Duende. What's that? For those of you guys who are unaware, an El Duende is a humanoid creature of mythology that has variants from Iberian 
Ibero-American and Latin American civilizations. The word mm. duende in Spanish is a contraction of the phrase dueño de casa, which means master of the house. It may have come from a similar mythical creature from Visigoth or Swabian culture, as it shares similarities with the Swedish word tomte, which is a mischievous spirit that lives in a house. Mm. So what do you guys think? Do you I think, think it's probably that piece of security know. camera footage actually captured a real life El Duende? Or was this something else entirely? I'll let you decide. I think that's what exactly what he said. Like I don't even want to say the name. It sound it sounds like a curse. I don't want to say it. The YouTube channel Northern Paranormal Team UK posts video to their account which sees them exploring a wide variety of abandoned and otherwise creepy places throughout their home of Manchester, England. As I'm sure you can expect, the team usually ends up exploring some legitimately unsettling places, but perhaps none of them are quite as unsettling as the time they explored this one creepy house. During this one part of the investigation, the team can be seen walking around the living room area and are talking to one another. At one point, the cameraman pans the camera up, and it's right here in which this video gets absolutely terrifying. Let's Take a see. Look. Yeah, the guy that's doing the K2 and he's got a couple of lights on it, you know, but we yeah. don't know. Yeah. Yeah, well, all we can do is just yeah, keep going past and say, Whoa! What the heck was that? Bro! Did I just see something now? Did, am I imagining that? Yes, you did! Oh, no, let's go. <laughs> Looked like a mask, yeah. but it could have been a face. I don't, I don't know. know. To me, it looked like a face. I would have been freaking out. A strange, out. ghostly face can be seen appearing very quickly before disappearing just moments later. The mm. team notices this happening, and they are audibly freaked out by their discovery. However, they are not able to come into contact with this spirit a second time despite their efforts. This video is six months old, and yet it seems as though this bizarre mystery has yet to be solved. Will it ever be solved? Who knows? But one thing is for sure, the Northern Paranormal Team UK probably has this house on their list of scariest locations. Man, I will not set foot in the house ever again. Oh no! A man named CJ, also known by his TikTok username Clax Attacks, posted video to his TikTok account back in June of 2021 which shows him walking around outside only to make a horrifying discovery. As soon as he walks outside, we are met with a normal sight, CJ's driveway with his car parked in it. Then, he can be heard asking his dog Domino, what is that? After noticing that it's staring at something far off in the, the distance that? that he can't see. However, as it turns out, the thing the dog is staring at isn't so far away after all. Take a look behind the car. Wait, that's the dog? Oh, I thought that was the... I don't know if you can see I thought this. that was the, the thing. Really weird. Domino, what is that? Oh, that thing looks tall. Hey! Just leave it alone. If you look just closely just enough, leave it alone. you can make out what appears to be some kind of a dark shadow figure walking behind the car before ultimately disappearing without a trace. In a follow-up video, CJ gives more context, stating that his dog usually likes to go outside, but states that he doesn't usually bark. But there was something off-putting about that night, as we just saw. CJ Very. says that he hasn't seen the strange entity since that night, but says that he's still not sure if it was a person or some kind of a ghostly apparition. Let's just hope that CJ and his beloved dog Domino can go back to living in peace. Yeah, facts, man. Do not mess with that thing, man. And that was 17 scary videos. But all right, y'all. I'm going to cap it off right there, y'all. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Please smack the like button. Subscribe today to join the AA. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.